Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install the vertical stabilizers on our FT Flurkin. Now the cool thing about the FT Flurkin is it's incredibly versatile and we're gonna have different configurations of tails in the future that you can choose to put on and also different kit versions. This here is the stock Flurkin. What we wanna do is we wanna gather our parts and we'll start building together. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to put on the twin tail conversion of the FT Flurkin. Now the neat thing about the Flurkin is our intention is to have many different tail versions and also power versions for this to give you some really unique experiences. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build the two vertical stabilizers and then also using this gauge, how to install them onto your Flurkin. Let's go ahead and pop out the pieces that you see right here and we'll get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut a double bevel on both sides that you see here. So let's go ahead and do that now. We have a nice sharp razor blade in our knife. There's one, and here's two. Make sure that your bevel gives you the ability to go at least 90 degrees, maybe even a little bit more. And what we're gonna slowly do is we're gonna slowly allow this to crease over just like that. Once we're happy with that, We'll apply a thick bead of glue right down the middle. And when we fold this over, we wanna make sure that we line up both the tabs and the bottom surface evenly. Hold this down for at least two minutes, making sure the glue is fully dry before you release. And let's go ahead and do the same exact process now on the other side. Fold it 180. As we're gonna go ahead and cut the double bevel on both sides that you see here. And a quick test fold. Again, we're going nice and slow, establishing that curve all the way down. Once everything looks good, come back with a healthy bead of glue right on the leading edge. And then around the perimeter and into the center. And when we fold this over, we want to make sure that we line up both the tabs and the bottom surface evenly. Hold this down for at least two minutes, making sure the glue is fully dry before you release. All right, our two vertical fins are done. Let's go ahead and bring in the flurkin and we'll mount them. First thing we wanna do is just do a quick test fit. And to do so, we're gonna kind of pinch in our little uh, tabs here and then pressing down, we're gonna look to make sure that everything lines up from the trailing edge up. Now these are gonna be kicked slightly over and that's what this little gauge right here is for is to lay down and get us the proper angle over. Also, we want to make sure that our fins are not laying in a bad position or else it will cause the airplane to yaw one direction or the other. To center up your fins properly, we're going to line up this little feeler gauge here and we're going to line it up with the crease right on the trailing edge. Once that's up all the way forward, we're going to place a little tiny dot right here. Now that we know where that needs to be, we're going to take our little angle gauge. The angle gauge is going to give us the proper angle of our fin. We don't want to have this flat and have a big gap. So once we know which direction we want to go, we'll take our razor blade and we're just going to trim just a very small amount off of one side. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Now once we have everything straight and true, we're gonna put a nice healthy bead of glue right on the very bottom of our fin. Again, right back into the tab. We're gonna line up the very front tip of our vertical stabilizer and then resting our angle gauge right up against the top surface of our wing. We're gonna hold that over. We're gonna hold this for at least two minutes making sure it's thoroughly dry before doing the other side. Once our tail is dry in place and we're happy with the position, we can reinforce with an additional bead of hot glue. Let's go ahead and do the exact same process now on the other side. Again, we have our, I guess, rudder portion facing outward. We're gonna do a quick test fit vertically. There we go. We'll grab our little rectangle feeler gauge. We're gonna line that right with that seam. And we'll put a little tiny dot right there. Next, we'll cut a very delicate bevel. Quick 
quick test with our little gauge here. That looks good. And finally, a nice healthy bead of glue. Back down, lining the very leading edge of our elevator up with the dot that we made from our gauge. And then coming back with our little angle gauge to hold everything in place. And once everything's dried, come back with one final bead of glue just to lock everything in. So the fins of our Flurkin are now done. We're ready to do the next video on our playlist, which is going to be your motor option or the electronics. Feel free to go in the description, click the link, and we'll continue building together.